For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. report which has come recently is quite disturbing not because we didn't know what was happening but the scale of the drone war and the lack of oversight the lack of really understanding the nature of this new form of warfare that has come about i think the reviews that new york times has done confirms what earlier the united nations special reporter on this aspect drone wars the kind of targeted killings that it introduces has already done we have three united stations sorry we have three united nations special reporters report on that and it's not very significantly different for what the new york times has reported and what there is another report which has come out already also about the air wars in afghanistan has talked about of this show that the distance that people have from the scene of the war itself that the remoteness that it introduces means they take decisions without knowing the battlefield knowing what they really are seeing and also the fact that they have no consequences and we have seen this in for instance in Iraq war earlier uh, the famous footage that came about which Chelsea Manning had released shows also the kind of atrocities that takes place due to this distance the fact that you are not on the battlefield that you don't see them as humans but only as images introduces a kind of distance and a lack of any precautionary measure that you take and the fact that it is taking place on a scale the new york times report is very clear it's a scale that also is very very disturbing what we also now know and that's the other disturbing part of it is that the afghanistan air war did not stop with the discussions in doha and the agreement that the us made of pulling out of afghanistan in fact the air war continued both under trump and biden all of this put together we have to reexamine the legality of this form of war by which people from above you kilometers above you 
out of complete range of any weapon that you might have, can they take the control over your life and life and death over you. And I think that's a very disturbing element of what we see as a new war, the sanitized war. Yes, it is sanitized for the people who operate the drones, people who are just taking the decision to kill, life and death decisions over you, but not for the people. The other part of this is that we are talking about still the view from above. We are really talking about the view of people who are at the other side of the drones. In this case, New York Times, which have also done some ground reporting on this. They have sent out people to examine what has happened. But nevertheless, it's still an American view of things. We really don't have an Afghan, Iraqi, or Syrian view of the extent of the drone war and what it has caused.